Hey guys, in this video I'm going to recap iOS 6. Right now I only have it installed in my iPad, so let me go ahead and show you how iOS 6 is. And here's a, the, the home screen. As you see, you have a new Maps icon, as well as a new Clock application, so it's brought to iPad. The first thing we're going to go over is a Maps application. In the Maps application, they have a new 3D. So, if you put it on standard, you can see that the buildings actually come out. And if you zoom in, you can notice it even more. If you go into satellite mode, also called flyover mode, it looks like we're flying above this area. If we zoom in even more, you could actually see very detailed of how this is and you could rotate it just like that and you could see all the detail of these as well they introduced turn-by-turn -turn navigation so if you go to directions and you put in some directions it will actually give you turn-by-turn -turn directions. So as you can see there's actually turn-by-turn -turn directions. It's not really useful in the iPad but it's even better with the iPhone and as you go obviously I can't show you because I'm not going there right now but if you're in a phone or in your iPad if you bring it along with you it will actually tell you the turn-by-turn -turn directions. As well it also shows traffic so show traffic standard so as you can see here the tra the traffic is pretty bad on this highway right here and that's the new maps application it's completely done by Apple, no more Google Maps, and you could see they used TomTom Tom and some other people to help along with that. Let me just show you the flyover mode, and there you go, crashed. It's the beta. Let me go and show you the um, a better example of the flyover mode. So let's go to a city inside of Infinity Loop, Apple's headquarters. So let's go into San Francisco, zoom in, and here's all your buildings in San Francisco. Enable the 3D mode in this button right here, 3D. And you could see over here all these buildings of downtown San Francisco. You zoom in, and after it loads, you could see the buildings start loading. And there you go, those are the buildings. Zoom in even more, you get a more detailed of each building, see which one's higher, etc. You could rotate with two fingers to get different views of the buildings. So look at over here. And unfortunately, Apple hasn't made every city compatible with the 3D mode, but hopefully, more cities will come in the future. So there you go, that is the new maps in iOS 6. The next thing I'm going to show you in iOS 6, especially on the iPad, is Siri. Siri is finally brought to the iPad, uh, so now it's only on the 4S and the new iPad. Uh, and they also made improvements to Siri, such as uh, the inclusion of sports, restaurants, and movies. So let me show you an example of this. Who won the last game with the Miami Heat? The Heat overcame the Celtics by a score of 101 to 88 last Saturday. The Celtics are out of the playoffs. And as you see, uh, Siri is now very good with sports, and you see the the score of the game, and it even told you that the Celtics are now out of the playoffs. When? is the first game of the New York Jets. Here are the scores for the Jets from January 1st, 2012. 
So there you go. There's this uh, the game, the game of the Jets, the last game, which I didn't really ask. I said, when is the first game of the Jets season? So let's see if she gets there. Sorry, right. Andre, I don't have that schedule. Okay, so she's obviously not completely ready. Uh, I guess NFL isn't ready either. But as well, she's good with restaurants. What are some good restaurants in New York City? I found 15 restaurants. 13 of them are in New York City. New York, I've sorted them by rating. And here you go. She shows you uh, cities in New York City. So you can scroll down. Let's click on 53rd and 6th. And it shows you everything. The reviews brought to you by Yelp. You could read the reviews. And some restaurants that support it have reservations. And all this information about this restaurant, including the price. Siri is also great with movies. Let's take a look. Where is the Avengers playing in New York City? Checking for movies matching the Avengers in New York City. New York. Okay, here's Marvel's The Avengers playing in New York City. New York. So here you go. You click the movie. And you could watch a trailer right inside of Siri. Okay, I'm done watching that. And... Where's the Avengers playing in New York City? Checking for movies matching the Avengers in New York City. New York. So okay. After Here's you watched, Marvel's The Avengers playing in New York City. New York. After you watch, you can watch trailer. They teamed up with Rotten Tomatoes to get you good reviews and show times for all the theaters around here. Click the reviews. You could read from critics. And that wraps up my summary of Siri on that new iPad in iOS 6. In iOS 6, you can now also integrate Facebook. So, for example, in the Photos application, you could easily share a photo through all the other sharing sites, such as Twitter, PhotoStream, Mail. You could assign it to a contact, print it, wallpaper, copy it, but you could also now do Facebook. And with Facebook, you just click it, and then you just type in what you want, and just click Post. Also, to including is in the notification center, you can simply tap to post to Facebook right from there. The same thing for Twitter. Also, uh, Facebook events are now automatically posted in your calendar. Uh, also, contacts uh, and other things like that are also integrated with Facebook. Let me show you uh, the App Store iTunes, App Store, and iBooks have all been redesigned and uh, made better. So, let's go to the top page here, Catapult King. Okay, this is another way it integrates with Facebook. Click OK. And when this is out, you'll see who, which of your friends actually like this game. Uh, you could see the pictures, the description, uh, reviews, okay, and you can like the application now to share it with your Facebook friends, and you'll see if any of your friends like it, and you can see related. You could also share this application, maybe I want to show my friends on Facebook, I just click Facebook, and it shows the application. Another new feature in iOS 6 is called Shared Photo Streams and you could share photos with uh, your family and friends through Photo Stream. So if you go to Photos and you click Share, you could actually click Photo Stream and you could send any of your contacts and you'll name the Photo Stream and if you want you could actually make it a website that anyone could view uh, from their home computer. They could actually comment on the photos and you'll receive notifications from those comments. Other features to iOS 6 include Passbook, which is 
something for tickets only on the iPhone. I don't I don't have iOS 6 on my iPhone, so I can't show you that. Along with FaceTime over cellular and new phone features from the lock screen. But also in the mail application there's a VIP list and you could uh have new you could attach photos directly in the, the mail application. So let me show you that. So here I am in the mail application. If I just want to insert a photo without going to there, I could just hold down and click here, insert photo or video, and I could choose from my photo albums. So let me go choose a photo, click use, and there you go. I have inserted a photo from the mail. Also in Safari, we have uh, the reading list. So right here, you always have the reading list, but now you can bring your reading list offline. So if I have something on my reading list, I could it automatically downloads. So when I'm in without Wi-Fi or without cellular, like you could actually read it because it's actually downloaded on your device, along with iCloud tabs. Currently, I only have this on iOS 6, but with Mountain Lion and other iOS devices, you'll see what tabs are open on which devices. That wraps my recap of iOS 6 on the iPad. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure to check out the video description for more information and, and updates. Uh, thank you for watching.